It's your girl Shella. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I know I have a full face of makeup. Who is she? I feel like we've only seen me in a full face of makeup maybe a handful of times, maybe twice. I know I rarely ever wear makeup only because one, I'm not very good at it, and also two, I'm kind of lazy. Don't come for me, okay? I hope this is decent. I think I did pretty well. It's been a while. I think a good couple of months since I wore makeup. It's been a while, so I think I did decent. But yeah, the intro is a bit rushed. We had to get up quite early. Um, we're going to Central today. We're gonna have a nice fun day out. We wanna go into a bookstore, um, grab some drinks, whatever. Just have a nice day out in Central today, you know, explore the town. I didn't get to film much of me getting ready because like I said, it was quite of a rush because we gotta be back in time for my doctor's appointment, so. It's annoying my doctor's appointment is at half four. Kind of an awkward time, but that's all they can give me. Let's head off and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. lovely Marlebone. As you see, we just went into that really nice store called Bays and Sage. Everything there was absolutely divine. I wanted literally everything. I wanted to deck my house out in all of the cutlery that they had, all the kitchen things that they had, but it's quite expensive. So <laughs> we left with like this nice authentic Italian pasta and got some Arab. I think it's called Arabiata sauce. And I also got, what else did I get? Was it just those two? Oh, and I got a loose tea leaves, which is like, it said it was a beauty one. Um, I'll go through it a bit more when I get home. I need to also get a strainer, that's the word, a strainer tea pot thing <laughs> to be able to actually use it. Everything in there was so nice. I wanted all their plants, I wanted all their plates, all their ceramics, just everything. I think that's basically the aesthetic I would love my future home to be one day. But yeah, we're now just trying to find somewhere to eat. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is booming. It is booming. Ah, oh, yeah. It's almost 1.15. Thank God the weather's really good today. But yeah, we're going to now try and find somewhere to eat because we are going go Yeah, so I didn't realize that these were like cheese or was it cheese? It's polenta. Like, it's like the uh, corn, you know, the powder. Oh, okay. Powder, oh, cornstarch. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what it is. So, um, you yeah. want the normal one? Yeah, just normal ones. Please. So, should I uh, take um, this? No, okay, it's alright, sure. but yeah, normal ones, please. Go Thank you. I can eat it if I'm undecided about it. just had lunch the food was actually quite nice i got a burger which is rather delicious i got polenta chips on the side i didn't actually have a clue what they were i thought it was some kind of i know they cooked it a special way and then later at night i was like uh -huh. actually can i just have a side of normal fries because i was rather confused on what on earth that was it was like this weird crummy almost the texture was like couscous texture like very crummy on the inside other than that, lunch is really good and now we're going to head off to H&M because somebody, hint hint, wink wink, 
broke two of our plates so we're gonna get some replacements I may or may not get some more home things that's with home decor so yeah we are gonna head off to Regent Street let's go Drop the roof and let the smoke clear I got diamonds to it, pussy slides in both gears Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck the night, I keep the quality in my shorty back You know she wants mine when she tattooed that That's gonna give you a large mug sized black coffee Every single style of latte or cappuccino Got a keep it coming, you were right up Oh my god, I didn't expect to do as much as we did. Sorry I didn't speak to you guys as much as I hoped I would have liked throughout the day. Honestly, we went just from like one stop to another. We ended up spontaneously buying an espresso machine. Went to a couple of bookstores. We went to this really nice store, Bailey's and Sage, as you guys saw, which has like all like farm organic cheese and meats and things like that. Like, all we really wanted to do was go into the Daunt bookstore. Because Joe wanted a specific book that he was after. We ended up going to two Waterstones as well after that on the hunt for this bloody book. I think what I'm going to do is a shopping haul of everything that we bought and take you guys along. Show you guys everything that we got today. We got quite a fair amount and I'm quite happy with it. I honestly don't know where to start. We're going to start with the Baileys and Sage because that one was a bit more simple. So we got this really nice pasta. Some nice quality authentic Italian pasta. And then some really nice quality sauce arabiata sauce arabiata sauce spicy sauce best enjoy with meat based pasta can't wait to try that I ever able to check them out the store is called baileys and sage it's definitely worth going into the store i don't think you can actually buy or order online but they do like loads of they do plants they do like homeware dishes and cutleries and things like that and then just really nice organic quality foods like really good cheeses and meats like the cheese selection was insane so i got those probably gonna make a meal with that tomorrow and oh and i also got these loose tea leaves um wilder botanics is by and it's the inner beauty tea it has rosa oh rose hips passion flower fennel orange peel and marigold don't know what some of these are but i'm really excited to try it i don't know I want to get into the loose tea leaf vibe, you know, instead of buying tea bags. I mean, obviously tea bags are nice and a lot more cheaper, but I just like the idea of fresh old tea leaves. So I feel like this is going to be a really nice soothing thing to drink every so often. I'm excited to try this. And of course, since I got that, I needed to get a loose tea leaves strainer. Headed straight to H&M home for that where I got so with me how much rubbish now like how cute would it be in here straining and then so cute that in here living my best soothing evening adult life with my tea leaves I feel like you know you're an adult when you're really getting into tea <laughs> and we also got some pillowcases because basically in the living room I guess the color screen mainly for like the furniture because there's like a you know that big old purple lounge chair thing we kind of decorated based around that chair there's quite too many purple pillows cushions so i've got some black ones to kind of spice it up a bit vary it out you know and it's got like a really nice pattern on it i hope this kind of works it's got this nice pattern to go with like the black accent decor that's running through the flat i thought that would be nice Mix up the cushions because all of the cushions are purple and it's just too flashy flashy. And then, of course, got the replacement bowl and plate. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, I also got a book because, you know, I keep on saying I want to get more into reading. I want to get more consistent with reading. That's the main part. But I got this book. I'm not usually a big fan of fiction books because I'm like, I'd rather watch a movie. And if there's no movie, then I'm just like, I find something else. I like I like books where it just more teaches something. The start of art of not giving a fuck, um, atomic habits, things like that. Things that are more educational. But I thought I'd venture out into the fiction world and I got the one that everyone has been raving about. I gave it into the rope. I thought if everyone's raving about, about it, it must be. Obviously, we know. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. Excited to delve into that after seeing everyone's reactions to it i feel like it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster from what i've heard i'm excited to read that and kind of get lost in the book 
so I'm excited to start that. And then we got, last but not least, an espresso machine. It's half six in the evening and I'm honestly tempted to make one just because I'm so excited to use it. It's a lot of caffeine. But it might be handy because I plan on editing most of this video tonight. So maybe it will work out. By the way, the tube home was absolutely packed. Having a massive box, all these bags, hell. Just hell. But anyways, let me show you guys an espresso machine. shall we oh. that is good it's like a lot more creamy look at that foam she has foam mm. oh that's good definitely beats an instant coffee of five pounds from tesco <laughs> by the way the syrup that i always use it's from it's not really syrupy it's very as you can see as you can see it's really runny but i just use it for flavor it's from the brand Guinico and it's from their barista collection. They do so many different flavours. This one is the salted caramel one. Honestly, I only use one cup and they're really flavourful. If you're looking for like an actual syrup consistency, like the thick gooiness, then this is definitely not it. To me, it's more like flavour jots rather than a syrup. But they do so many other flavours. They do like French vanilla, butterscotch, uh, pumpkin spice, like all of those really nice flavours that you can think of. I highly recommend if you're just looking for some flavor to add to your latte i'm gonna be that bitch i'm gonna be that bitch that has a typical coffee machine the coffee pod aesthetic drawer i'm just living my that girl aesthetic really this is this is me living my that girl aesthetic yes expect to be sick of me now <laughs> that was a fun little haul we did a lot today i'm so sorry again i didn't speak to you guys as much as i would have liked um throughout the video honestly we just went zooming from one store to the next like doo -doo -doo -doo, because we we're trying to get back in time for my appointment that I never made because there's an espresso stop. We ended up doing a whole demonstration, consultation, the whole shebang in there and it just completely wiped over time. I was like, yeah, I'm not making this appointment, so. But it was worth it. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was worth it. But yeah, we are now gonna have dinner. We're gonna chill and relax, relax and I think I'm gonna close off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the day out with me today. We did a lot. I think it was rather productive. Spent quite some money that I didn't expect to spend. But it's okay. You gotta treat yourself once in a while. Go treat yourself once in a while. And so that I did. It's self care, okay? It's self care. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye!